we can demonstrate the reaction between a non-metal and oxygen with sulfur, which we have here as a yellowish powder that I'm placing on the deflagrating spoon. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to ignite the sulfur over the Bunsen burner and then place it in the gas jar, which contains pure oxygen, to allow a reaction between sulfur and oxygen. We can see that the sulfur burns a lilac or a purple color in oxygen. We know that when a non-metal combines with oxygen, it forms a non-metal oxide, which we can see here in the form of the white smoke. We also know that when non-metal oxides combine with water, they react to form an acidic solution. The acidic solution that's formed here is sulfur dioxide reacting with water to form sulfuric acid, which is a similar process to what produces acid rain and we can demonstrate this by adding a piece of blue litmus paper. We know that blue litmus would turn red in the presence of uh, an acidic solution. We can show that here. And we can see that that blue litmus turns red almost immediately showing that a non-metal oxide when combined with water forms an acidic solution.